Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharallah. Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakah, Kodash for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. It's your brother Abiah coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 130 and verse 5. It says, I wait for Yahweh. My soul doth wait. And in his word do I hope. All right. So here we are in so-called 2023. All right. Because uh, this world just got done celebrating so-called New Year's, <clears throat> New Year's Eve in the dead of winter. Right. In a, in a time that represents death all around the world, as far as nature goes, right? Nature meaning, um, you know, real from Yahweh, right? Basically, organic means basically, you know, from Yahweh, right? And to be real with you, um, real nature as it pertains to times and seasons begins in the time of life as far as a new year goes that's why scripture tells us the passover is our new year it's the true new year and you know it makes sense that's the time of uh, spring which is the time of life right so it just tells you it shows you the contrast of the truth and lies light and dark evil and good and the majority of the most high people choosing evil over good, right, because of what the world says. But as far as those of us that are operating in the spirit of truth, spirit of righteousness, spirit of holiness to the best of our ability, we hope in, in the word, man. We hope in, in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. Right? So in, in actuality, we're hoping in life. And we're operating in life. Right? Uh, John 6.63. Matter of fact. It says it is the spirit that quickeneth. That word quickeneth means bring to life. Right? The flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right? So that's what we rely on. And that's what we hope on. The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to bring life into us, right? Because we don't want to follow death. We've been following death our whole life, and we understand the end result of it. The end result of following death is death, whether that death be spiritual or actually physical, right? So many people lose their true selves trying to operate in this world to the best of their ability instead of operating according to the word to the best of your ability, right? Let me go back to uh, Psalms 130 and verse 6. It says, My soul waiteth for Yahweh more than they that watch for the morning, I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in Yahweh, for with Yahweh there, was, there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. All right? Plenteous redemption, man. All right, so many folks talking about, well, my New Year's resolution is this, that, that, and the third, and I'm going to get real and make these changes and so forth and so on. And they ain't doing nothing but lying to themselves, for real, for real, at the end of the day. It's just a continuous cycle of yearly lies. All right, it's because of what you're following. All right? Like I said, man, those are the most high men and women that are, uh, you know, really trying to please your heart, well, man, we're hoping in that word. And we're operating in truth. And we're going to do that to the best of our abilities. And ultimately, it's going to lead to a redemption. Right? We already seeing this, this kingdom that we're involved in falling. Right? And they've been talking so much about 2023. I'm talking about they've been talking like this place going to get real hectic this year. And, and how about Shemal Shah it does. That's a part of hoping in the word. A part of hoping in the word is hoping that this captivity ends. And the only way this captivity can end is through destruction. That's it. 
It ain't going to get no better, man. As long as these people are in rulership, it will never get better. Job 9.24 says the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. As long as they're in rulership, this world going to forever be wicked. More so wicked against the most highest people. You so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, all of so-called Negro descent. All right? And operating in this world with the spirit of righteousness and the spirit of holiness, knowing what you know, it brings about certain ailments, man, or certain pains mentally, spiritually, you know? This Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7, it says, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. All right, so ain't nobody cheerful about, you know what I'm saying, this place still being around at a new year, so-called. Ain't nobody, you know, happy that these these people talking about this place going to get better. And when I'm talking about these people, I'm talking about the actual citizens of this place because the leaders of this place ain't speaking that. They're speaking like it's going to get pretty bad, right? But when I said the average citizen of this place or the average, um, you know, most highest people, they don't know no damn better. They don't even know they oppressed for real, for real. They try to blame oppression on the police. Now, true enough, that is an arm of the devil in this place. Right? But it doesn't solely rest on the shoulders of the men in blue. Got everything to do with who in charge. Right? The people who wrote the laws that gave them the okay to specifically target the most highest people by law. All right? Get you a Black's Law Dictionary um, and look up the definition of the word color as it pertains to a people. Now, you're not even considered a real a real uh, citizen in this place, for real, for real. You're a secondary citizen in this place, and they can treat you as such. You can say, well, the law says this and the law says that all day, but they show you in the courtroom what time it is. They show you in the streets when you get pulled over what time it is. All right? This place ain't for you. This ain't your rest. All right? And like I said, those of us that operate in the spirit of truth, spirit of holiness to the best of our ability, we fully understand that and we're hoping in the word, man. The word that says the daughter of Babylon will fall and burn. All right? But mean, meanwhile, meantime, between time, we got to suffer in this place. We go to the book of Sirach. Chapter 21. Which is Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Um, chapter 21. And verse 12, it says, He that it's not wise, will not be taught, but there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. Right? And one main portion of that wisdom is understanding that it's a whole kingdom promised to you, a new body promised to you, a new mind promised to you that won't ever go off, a new body that won't ever entice you to sin. It's promised to you in the word. And you see it and you believe in it. You got faith in it, but still got to deal with the hell of the world that you're living in now. Man, we hoping in that word, man. And we hoping that, hoping that that word, you know what I'm saying, comes soon. All right? Scripture says that the days should be shortened for the elect's sake. And that's what we pray for. Shorten these days, our Father. Speed up the process because we ready to go. Tired of dealing with this place, man. I, don't, I, I hate the idea of my kid having to deal with this place if the most high allows it to still be. I hate the idea that my kids' kids will have to deal with this place if the most high allows this place to be because we understand what we deal with every day. Right? From Esau, from our own people, from the heathen, surrounding nations, on all sides. Surely oppression, oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. So if you are wise, 
right? Of course, you're going to teach your kids to be wise as well, whether or not the spirit is dealing with them. That's a whole nother story, but they're going to know, right? And if the spirit dealing with them, guess what? They're going to have to deal with it too. That oppression is going to piss them off as well. And they're going to have to deal with the suffering and the proud looks and the proud behaviors and the utter hell that we have to live in. So, yes, we're hoping in the word, the word that says this place is, this place will be destroyed. All right? Matter of fact, let me end with that. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1 it says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted, lightened with his glory. And he cried with mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right, that's what we that's what we hoping for, man. The fall of this place, man, and everything associated with this place. All right. So I, like I said I end with that, man. How about you, man? I'm sorry, Roger Zai. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyim Lai Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakudash Shalom Yashalom.